Welcome to this episode of Trojan Poetry. We are in episode number 12. So uh, I've chosen the poem this week. Mike has not read it. Uh, so stick around when we're done, though, because Mike is going to introduce a book that you might be interested in. So this week we are reading a poem titled Lines for Winter by Mark Strand. Tell yourself as it gets cold and gray falls from the air that you will go on, walking, hearing, the same tune no matter where you find yourself, inside the dome of dark or under the cracking white of the moon's gaze in a valley of snow. Tonight, as it gets cold, tell yourself what you know, which is nothing, but the tune your bones play as you keep going. And you will be able for once to lie down under the small fire of winter stars. And if it happens that you cannot go on or turn back, and you find yourself where, where you will be at the end, tell yourself, in that final flowing of cold through your limbs, that you love what you are. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, I've been wanting to uh, do a Mark Strand poem now, this mm -hmm. whole time, because he's one of my favorites. Yeah. And I thought of this one, obviously, it's winter. And um, I, don't, I find it very, uh, very moving, uh, very elegant, uh, very um, not ironic. Uh, which, uh, <laughs> if you know Mark Strand, I don't know if he's ironic, but sometimes it's so kind of puzzling writer is so surreal that you kind of get the sense that, or you worry that maybe he's not really talking about something real. So that he's trying know, to pull one point? over yeah, on you or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then you hit, he's got, you know, several or many like this where it just hits you, right? The weight mm -hmm. of the emotion is absolutely not ironic and it just hits you. And I think part of what intrigues me about it uh, in addition to kind of that, that last line, you love what you are, right? What a comforting uh, mm -hmm. or a, an attempt to comfort uh, is the, the line breaks. And uh, the third and fourth line that you will go on walking, hearing, not, not that you will go on walking, but mm -hmm. that you will go on, mm -hmm. right? And he breaks the lines in spots where you could interpret it different ways. Mm -hmm. And I really think that's cool, right? Because it makes you pause and kind of think through what's going on. Um... And then just the literal and the figurative, right? I mean, it's winter, but clearly I think it's kind of symbolic for all of life mm -hmm. and kind of the end of life and winter uh, being, you know, you're, you're kind of winding down, uh, but then it's also winter. And, yeah. uh, you know, again, kind of like last week's poem where uh, the fox, right, was both mm -hmm. literal and not literal. So uh, that's all I got. I just think it's a, a great poem. Any response? Yeah, I just some amazing lines in here. Um, I love the cracking white of the moon's gaze in a valley of snow. I mean, I can totally visualize that. Um, the tune your bones play as you keep going, you know, almost like you're this skeleton and you're kind of clicking and clacking as you're mm -hmm. walking along there. Uh, the small fire of winter stars. I mean, just some awesome descriptions. And that's what I like about Mark Strain is for the most part, his language is so mm -hmm. simple and yet he'll just hit you with these sensory images from time to time, and you're like, wow. So, yeah. yeah. Well, and actually, you, you hit upon my question. Mm -hmm. uh, there in the middle of the poem, it says, Tonight as it gets cold, tell yourself what you know which is nothing but the tune your bones play. So it's, again, that line break where it's like you don't know anything. Oh, but you do know the tune that your bones play. And I guess my question is, what is that tune? Hmm. You know, what yeah. is the tune that your bones play? Because I know you said clicking and clacking, but I mean, our bones don't literally click and clack. <laughs> but although I understand why yeah. you, know, you would say that. Yeah. But what does that mean? What, you know, just the act of movement, is that the music? And again, mm -hmm. that kind of warping of, of movement and sound. Yeah, what kind of music is that? Yeah, right. I don't know. So that's my question. It came from this book. If you haven't read Mark Strand, here's a great collection of it. But Mike has another book to tell you about. Yeah, so... Um, our book recommendation for this week is called The Poem Is You. It is 60 contemporary poems, poems and poets and how to read them. And I, I really like the book series um, 10 Poems to Change Your Life. And this seems like a, a variation on that. And what's great about it is it's a lot of poets that John and I have not heard of. They're active right now, and we're going to take a look at these and maybe bring some of them into the show. And they give you a brief little um, explanation of this guy's take on the poem right after each one. So it looks like a really cool collection. Yep. 
All right, thanks for watching. Please join the conversation in the comments on YouTube or on Twitter at Trojan Poetry DGN. Also, check out our website at trojanpoetrydgn.blogspot.com. <laughs>